Hey, note to self guy. You want to know what my greatest temptation is? It's women. Man, there's something about a big booty and a smile that just turns me on. I can't get enough. As long as that booty is big and round and bodacious, man, I'm tired to tell you, the beast that is with inside of me, that is lust, has to be fed. How does the Bible affect your life? Hello there. My name is Delmo Debauchery. My homies call me DD. If there was a Mount Rushmore for sin, I would occupy three of the four spots. You see, if I haven't done it, it ain't sin. Some of you might be saying, hey, D.D., why do you sin so much? Truthfully, I've been sinning so long, I don't really know. Now, you may also be wondering if I believe in God. Well, Jesus, the Bible, heaven, and hell, they might be real. I don't really know, to be honest with you. But uh, I have asked myself the question, why was I born? What is the purpose of me being on this planet? That's something I like to know. Hello there. I think I might be able to help you. Who are you, my fairy godmother? Nah, bruh, I'm a dude. My name is Daniel Talley, and I'm called the Note to Self Guy. What kind of a stupid name is that? Why do they call you that anyway? I'm called the Note to Self Guy because I offer people food for thought with the use of my poor man's proverbs. Now, poor man's proverbs are meant to inspire, motivate, and encourage people to have better relationships uh, with the Lord. Now, through the use of videos and my award-winning and best-selling book, Note to Self, Faith for Inspiration and Aspiration, life does not have to be so doggone difficult. The Bible, that is God's manual for living, has answers to every single problem that we have in life. We simply have to open the book, read what's in there, and apply the Bible to our daily lives. Whoopee! So how does that help me? Well, you got some questions? I am sure I can help you with some answers. Dee Dee, I am sure you are a wise man. How you know that, Sonny? Well, how many old fools do you know? Most people retire from foolishness as they age, and with age comes wisdom. Now, I know that you believe in God. Why do I say that? Well, nothing can be made without somebody making it. Take, for example, this car. Somebody had to make it, right? Yeah, you got a point there, no stuff, guy. Everything has a prime mover or a creator. The fool says in his heart that there is no God. And you, sir, are no fool. The very idea that something came from nothing is absolutely ridiculous. The Big Bang Theory makes no sense. To the atheists out there, I got one question for you. Who started that Big Bang? I feel you, note stuff, guy. That makes a lot of sense. So God, Jesus, created everything. You mentioned heaven, hell, the devil, and death. Well, here are a few videos that I created. I'll check those videos out. Hey, note to self guy. You want to know what my greatest temptation is? It's women. Man, I've been chasing tail all my life. There's something about a big round booty and a smile that just turns me on. It helps to feed the beast that is inside of me. And that beast is called lust. Do you have any videos on porn or lust? Lust is a road that pretty much all men have traveled. The only notable exception is the Lord Jesus himself. And he was God. You know, there's good reason why lust is one of the seven deadly sins. The eye candy can get you in trouble. That's for sure. I made a covenant with my eyes not to look lustfully at her. That's good counsel. Here are a few videos that will help us out.
Hey, note the self guy. I'm on the fence about a lot of things. What do Christians think about drinking, gambling, tattoos, and stuff like that? Well, that depends on which Christians you ask. Christians have varying opinions on these matters. Me personally, well, I like to look into the Bible and see what the Lord has to say about it. So I created a few videos and I have to tell you, each one of these videos is backed up by biblical scripture. Hey man, I got 10 kids and three baby mamas and a wife. Well, I used to have a wife. She bounced and divorced me because she couldn't handle the baby mama drama. I know it's a little late, but do you have any tips on parenting? A good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. Now God's not just talking about money here. He's talking about investing your time in your children. He's talking about teaching your children the virtues of God. And by doing so, what you're doing is that you are helping to, to shape and to mold future generations. And that is very, very important, particularly if you want to leave a legacy behind. Here's a few videos on some parenting tips. All that child support and baby mama drama has really put a strain on my finances. You got any videos related to finances? Yep, I got a couple, but there are more to come. Now I know you're gonna find this hard to believe, notes up guy, <laughs> but I've never really been good at relationships personal or otherwise. Do you have any videos that might help in that area? I got you covered, my brother. Here are a few videos that will help. Hey, if you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to show me some love by hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so the next time I do a video, you'll be notified. Man, this world has lost its mind. The hatred, the social discord, the civil unrest, the racism. What you got for that, note self guy? You need to show these videos to the world. Indeed, if you watch my video, please share the link and the channel with others. The simple answer is love your brother as you love yourself. And you know, if we all did that, we could pretty much eliminate all of the world's problems. You know, I've always struggled with my purpose in life. Why did God create me? I have asked myself that question myself, and the answer is so simple. Here are a few videos on that. Truthfully, deep down inside, I've always known that there was a God. I always knew there was somebody watching over me. Hey, note to self guy. 
Do you have any videos on how one can build their faith? It is impossible to please God without faith. Check out these videos. Now, admittedly, I've never been a church scorer. I only went to church on Easter, and that's basically to uh, show off my new suits. I wanted to style and profile in front of the congregation. But, uh, you know, I always found church to be too doggone serious. Sometimes funny things do happen at church. If you care for a good laugh, check these videos out. You put a dress on for the Lord? Seriously, don't you self guy? Well, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. She was the main character in that episode. What can I say? So, what's your take on the pandemic? I believe that the coronavirus is part of the signs of the time. It is a social killer. We all must respect the virus. Where's the world headed? Are we in the end times? My brother, no man knows the day or the hour when Jesus will return. But one thing's perfectly clear. The rapture could happen at any time. And you know, I really believe this. If I live to be an old man, I believe that it would happen in my lifetime. Here are a few videos. Hey, note to self, guy. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. I pray that the video would help you and others. God bless.